tower house, there are many pictures hanging on the wall. But when I look at one of them, the tears begin to fall. It's a picture of my mother, so kind and so is she. And it takes me back to long ago, when she was here with me. When my father died, I know she cried all those years ago. The loneliness he knew back then, no one will ever know. I oftentimes wonder how she felt. It was hard to realize because there was nine of us, five girls and four guys. Though her load was always heavy, her big heart bore the strain. And she walked her way through every day and never once complained. I remember well she read to us before we go to bed. I remember still her gentle voice, so troubled was her head. From time to time she said to us, not to worry, we'd get along our life. They often heard my mother crying in the darkness of the night. She never thought about herself. It was always just us kids. And she really showed her love for us in everything she did. Well, I wonder if we thanked her then. Cause she stood a mighty test. Lord, it's now that I'm regretting this. But I know she done her best. I thank her now, but it's too late. When salt tears fill my eyes, but I know that she still smiles on me from her home beyond the skies. I remember well that day in June as I sat there by her side, and the world just seemed to end for me. The day my mother died. Well, many years have passed since then, and my mother is now long gone. But you left behind some stepping stones for us to try to find. So when she came to meet you, Lord, I know you made her bed with roses from your garden and violets near her head. I want you to tell her I still think of her and we'll meet again someday. <laughs> so to all you people, I still have your mother today. If you really love her, tell her now before she's gone. Because they don't come in twos and threes. You'll only get the one. <laughs>